Okay, we're at the Stockholm World Water Week. Mm -hmm. Please tell us your name. Yes, I am Gayatri Devi mm -hmm. from India. Okay. Uh, I represent an organization which is Research and Policy Making Institute uh, called the ISEC and it has done uh, several studies for the IMI to the IFPRI, World Bank, Danida, Ford Foundation mm -hmm. and uh, uh, water, land related issues we have a center, first center in the whole of Asia our institute opened for ecology okay, nice. that is our pride and uh, we have undertaken many studies but I am very proud to be here to represent uh, a very uh, you know um, very inhuman practice of manual scavenging uh, which okay. is going on in uh, semi towns semi cities um, particularly by the marginalized communities okay yeah. so what does that mean what the scavenging uh, you know they they work as uh, the employers of the city municipality but uh, inadequacy of water is not allowing many houses to have flush toilets mm -hmm. so they have to manually clean up the toilets okay. and uh, put it away okay and for that they get meager wages oh. uh, meager wages i think for the whole month's work they get one dollar or two dollars imagine okay and uh, they get some leftover food Oh. And this study was done six years back. I don't think things have changed. I can definitely say it is the same today. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I am very concerned about this community, which is the lowest in the social hierarchy. Mm -hmm. They have the constitutional provision for free education, employment, but they are not getting into schools because they don't have proper livelihood even to go to schools. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, what do you propose to do with this I, I propose uh, the following. One is decentralization, which is a new system of bringing reforms, is a success in India in the rural areas. We have panchayats and women and this group itself is represented very well. They have 100% efficiency in drinking water. Okay. Sanitation, only 17% success. Oh no. And the reason they are giving is again absence of adequate water mm -hmm. and uh, space to build the toilets. Okay. But I don't want to say anything more on the rural areas mm -hmm. because my postal presentation is on manual scavenging even in urban areas because by urban you know, you understand, you agree with me, mm -hmm. it is modern, yeah. it's educated, civilized. But even there we have this problem of manual scavenging and the reason they give is absence of water for flesh toilets. Oh no. So I am looking at any opportunities A to make studies to prove my point. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just went around the stalls to see if there are any donors who can sponsor studies mm -hmm. across different parts of India mm -hmm. for two things. Know the problem mm -hmm. A. B. If there are success stories like Bindeshwar Patak got the water award in 2009. Mm -hmm. He built a Sulab Shauchalai, which means a toilet. Mm -hmm. And if that can be emulated, replicated in other parts, why it is not possible? If something is possible in Mumbai, why not in Bangalore? Exactly. I want to come up with some policy perspective, for yeah. which I am looking out for somebody to sponsor studies, because our institute is a self-sustaining institute. Okay. Yeah. I hope you find it. I'm sure it'll be Thank good you. to solve. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.